Okay. I've got maybe about a quarter of the stump out. I've taken all the roots out here. Got this cut down. My next thing I need to do, there's quite a burl coming right out here. And so I'm gonna try to just cut that off just below the ground level and then square this off here. Once I get it squared off, I'm good to go. It's just getting in around all the rocks and the roots. And these ones are quite close to the top of the ground, so I'm going to try to get this out here, and I'll be back. Okay, so I got that burl off of it. Cut this corner off. I'm going to try to take that right in half here. Go in about 12 inches right across. Okay, I took about a six inch block right off of that. So now my saw blade will pretty much go through the full width except for that little burl right there. So I'll bring you along for a little bit of that. Okay, it is now the next day. Sorry, I ran out of daylight uh, when I was filming. I just wanted to finish up this this uh, video on Stump Removal 101 Part B or Part 2. Um, this one here was a lot more difficult than that one. Of course, we're also we were dealing with a smaller stump. Uh, down here when I got down and you could see yesterday when I was showing you in that early part of the video At the base of that it the stump flared out really sharp all the way around on three sides and the, the root system was quite heavy and So I sharpened my saw probably two three times It was just so difficult to keep it uh, up out of the mud but um, I mean it wasn't too bad. I just give it a quick it takes about 10 minutes to you know put a five or six um, Passes on each tooth, but I got it and uh, Now what we have moving forward is Where these two stumps were in the way 
I've got a driveway now that I'll just step around here so you can see. My The width of the driveway now goes from that tree all the way over to that tree. Of course, these are coming out eventually as well. Um, but I can now drive right up off my old driveway. Drive right up. Before, I could only go to not even where the truck was hardly. Now I can step over. I've got another you know, 20 feet wide here. And that was a tree I took down yesterday. That's in a separate video. Uh, and I'm just getting ready to mill that this morning. But uh, the last three stumps to come out will be that one and these two here. And that will pretty much allow me full access now to when I put the garage over there. And so, um, you know, is it worth it? Uh, as far as, you know, the, the actual stump removal, there's a lot of work to those bigger ones. The smaller ones definitely, um, I would say, are worth it. Uh, I can usually remove one of those in a little over an hour. This one here took me uh, probably, by the time I got all the gravel down, I did that this morning, um, packed it in, probably about three hours to do. So again, one stump costs roughly $100 to have ground. Um, you're still, I mean, at $30, $35 an hour, you're still in money. And so it's not, it's not the easiest job, but um, it's, you know, it's an easier job when it comes to not having to, you know, either grind it or have an excavator come in and, you know, dig a big hole because that stump root system would have torn up a lot here. And now with the gravel, uh, the crush down, you know, within a few weeks, you're probably, well, you're not, you're not even going to be able to know there was a, a stump there once that all gets settled in. And so, again, this is the, the final product. So we have two, st two stumps out, that one and that one. Uh, and I will bring you along when I get to stump removal 101.3 or part three when I start taking out those other ones. And so until, until then, as always, I always appreciate it when you join me. I know, like I said, there's a lot of places you can be. Uh, but we're making progress here on the property and hopefully within the next, uh, I would say, uh, several months probably before you're going to see a, a, a big change as far as in the number of trees I've got down. So, because I'm turning now to milling. And so, until next time, uh, as always, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you then. You have a great day.